Hello, my second grade students, and welcome back to your math class. In this video, we are going to do some revision on our unit, unit number 5. In this video, we are going to do page number 71. Let's start. I want you all to open your book, page number 71. We are going to do this page together as a revision for our unit, unit number five. Let's do exercise number one. Complete the number patterns. Here we have number patterns. Each pattern has got a rule. We are going to what to know what is this rule or to find what is this rule to complete the missing number and write it here in the spaces, to write the numbers in what? In these spaces. Let's just start by the first one. Let's look at number one here. What is the rule to complete the missing pattern here? What, what is the rule? Yes, the rule is you are going to add what? You are going to add what plus one plus one to add one to add number one to each number to get the next number and so on so if we add number one we are going to have what we are going to have number two if we add number one to number two we are going to have what is this number yes excellent three now in order to have number four we are going to add one right to number three 3 plus 1 equal 4. Now to have number 5, we are going to add what? We are going to add 1 to 4. Now, how about here? How can we get this number or how can we get the missing number here? Yes, we are going to add number 1. So 5 plus 1 equal what? Equal 6. Now how can we get the next number? Yes, we add 1. So... 6 plus 1 equal what? Equal 7. Now, the next one is, we add number 1 to 7 to get what? To get 8. Excellent. How can we what? How can we get number 9? Yes, we add 1 to 8. And this is what this is, the rule. You add 1 to each number to get the next number. To get what? The next number. Until what? Until you finish the pattern. Until you finish the pattern. Let's look at number what? At number two. What is the rule here? Yes, we are going to add two. We are going to add two to get the next number. Now, let's look at here, number two. Here we have two and here we have four. If we add two, two plus two equal what? Equal four. Now, how can we get 6? Yes, we add 2 to what? To number 4 to get 6. Now, what do we do here to get the next number? Yes, we add 2. We add 2. 6 plus 2. Yes, 6 plus 2 equal 8. Excellent. Now, how can we get the next number? Yes, we add 2. So, 8 plus 2 equal what? Equal. Yes, excellent. Equal 10. Equal what? Equal 10. Now, 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2. Yes, equal 12. 12 plus 2. 12 plus 2. Yes, 14. 14 plus 2. Great. 16. So, here in this pattern, what is the rule? The rule is to add what? To add 2. To add 2 to get the next number. To get what? The next number. Now, let's do what? Let's do number what? Number 3 here. What is the rule? Yes, the rule is to add 3. To add what? To add 3. Now, 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 plus 3, if we add number 3 to 6 to complete the pattern, what is the number here? 
Yes, excellent. Number what? Number nine. Excellent. So here we are going to write nine. Now, if we add number three to nine, we are going to get number 12. If we add three to number 12, we are going to get what? Yes, excellent. 15. We are going to get 15. So 3 plus 12 equal 15. Now, how about here? If we add 3 to 15, we are going to get 18. How about here? If we add 3 to 18, what is the number here? Yes, it is what? It is 21. 21. If we add 3 to 21, what is the number here? What is the number? Yes, 24. 24. 24 plus 3 equal what? Equal 27. Equal what? Equal 27. So the rule here in this pattern is to add 3. To add what? To add 3 to get the next number and complete the pattern. Now let's do the last one here. What is the rule? Yes, the rule is to add 2. To add Two to get the next number now here we have one if we add two to one we are going to get what we are going to get three if we add two to three what is the number here yes excellent it is what it is five if we add two to five we are going to get what we are going to get seven if we add two to seven what is the number here Yes, excellent. It is nine. Nine. Now here, if we add what? If we add two, if we add two to nine, what is the number here? Yeah, excellent. We are going to get what? We are going to get number 11. Number 11. 11 plus 2 equal what? Equal 13. 13 plus 2 equal what? 15. Great job. 15 plus what? Plus, plus 2 equal what? Yes, great. 17. 17. So the pattern here in the last one is what? Is to add 2. Is to add Two. This is the rule. This is what? This is the rule. The first one is to add one. The second one is to add two. The, the third one is to add three. And the fourth one is to add two. These are the rules of these patterns. So please write the answers in the spaces. Please write the answers in the spaces. And let's do exercise number two. Write the fractions. Write the fractions. Now here we have one, two, three, three shapes. Each shape is divided into parts. Let's count the parts together. Now what is this shape? This is a rectangle. This rectangle is divided into three parts. One, two three okay now how about this shape this is a circle and this circle is divided into four parts one two three four this is a diamond this is this shape is diamond now the diamond is divided into two parts one two how can we write what? How can we write the fraction here in the, in the boxes for each shape? Let's see together. Now, look at the rectangle. How many parts are shaded or colored? Yes, we have only one part, this part. So, in order to write a fraction, 
we start by writing the shaded part. So how many shaded part? Only one. So here we write one. In the numerator, in the numerator, we write what? We write one. Now let's write what? Let's write the what? The denominator. How many parts in the whole shape? Yes, we have one, two, three. We have what? We have three parts. So in the denominator here, we write what? We write three. We write three. This is the denominator. And this is what this is, the numerator. The numerator is what is the shaded parts in the, in the what? In the shape, the shaded part. And the denominator is what is, how is the parts? How many parts is the shape divided to? This shape is divided into three parts. One, two, three. So here in the denominator, we write what? We write three. So, what is this fraction? This fraction is one-third. One, one-third. So, what is this? What is this fraction? This fraction is one-third. One-third. Now, let's go to the next one. Here we have a circle. How many shaded parts in the circle or in the circle yes we have what we have only one part so here we write one to what to write the fraction here we have we, here we write what we have number one because we have only what one shaded part one shaded part how many parts the circle is divided to here we have one two three Four. So the circle is divided into four parts. So here we write what? We write number four. So the numerator, the numerator is what? Is one. And the denominator is what? Is number four. So the numerator is the shaded part. And the denominator is the parts. How many parts? This shape is divided to, it is divided into what? Into four parts. So, how can we what? How can we say this what? This fraction in mathematics? Yes, it is what? It is quarter. Quad, quarter. Or we can say one, one fourth. One fourth so this fraction is what is quarter or one fourth this fraction quarter or one fourth now let's go to the last shape how many shaded part parts in this shape yes one can you see only one part so here we write one now how many parts are divided in this shape? Yes, we have what? One, two. Two parts. So here we write what? We write two. We write what? We write two. So the numerator is one. The numerator is one. And the numerator is what? Is the shaded part. How many shaded parts we have only one shaded part and the denominator is what the denominator is two the denominator is two now how can we say this fraction yes this fraction is have have okay this fraction is have the l is silent the l is silent so this fraction is have so please write the answers here. Please write the answers in what in the boxes. Now let's do the last question in, on page number 71. Draw according to the fraction below. Here we have what a fraction. What is this fraction? Yes, this is half. How about this fraction? Quarter or one fourth. How about this fraction? One third. One third. Now, let's draw and what and color the shape according to what to this 
or to these fractions. Let's draw number one here. We can draw a circle and we divide this circle into two parts. We divide this circle into two parts. Now, how many shaded parts in this in this shape or in the circle yes we have only one one because in the numerator here in the numerator we have what we have one so let's what let's color the only one part or let's color here one part in the shape let's color only one part on this shape so this is how can we what draw a shape according to a fraction to what to fraction this is what this is have now how many how many how many parts in this how many parts on this shape yes we have one two so here what in the denominator we have what we have two this is the denominator and this is what this is the numerator this is how can we draw a shape according to what according to the fraction have according to what to the to the fraction have now how about this fraction what is this fraction yes this is quarter this is quarter now in the numerator we have what we have one in the denominator we have four so how many shaded parts yes one how many parts in the shape yes four parts in the shape so we are going to draw for example a square and we are going to to what to divide this square into what into four parts one two three four so here we have four parts how many shaded parts yes excellent we have only one shaded parts one so what do we do we only color or shade one part so let's shade only one part together so this is what this is how can we draw a shape according to what according to the fraction quarter quarter now let's do the last one here what is this what is this fraction yes this fraction is one third one third now in the numerator we have one in the denominator we have three we have what we have three so how many shaded parts how many shaded parts excellent one how many parts in the shape we have three parts so let's draw for example a rectangle and how many parts in the rectangle we have one two three we have what we have three parts three parts this rectangle is divided into three parts how many shaded parts yes we have only one shaded parts one shaded part so here let's color what let's color one one shaded part this is what this is how can we what draw a shape according to the fraction one third so this is what this is one third we color only we color only one part from three parts this is one third the numerator is the what the part the shaded part and the denominator is how many parts in what in the shape i hope it's clear for you and that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye